Welcome back to another video. I want to look at two of the most highly requested cryptocurrencies on the channel. We're looking at Ethereum and Ripple today. And I want to pin the two against each other to see which one will be better to hold long term. So we're going to look at those charts and I'll also touch on the Bitcoin chart as well, because that's going to give us an idea of where we're at. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. We look at cryptocurrencies with technical analysis to understand which ones we want to hold for the upcoming bull market and also ASX stocks, all with technical analysis. So if that's something you're interested in, be sure to hit the subscribe. And if you find value from it, the like button down below. It's much appreciated because it helps us get through that damn YouTube algorithm. So without further ado, let's take a look at Ripple and Ethereum. Now, before we dive in, I'll mention this is not financial advice. It's for educational purposes only. I'm sure you guys get that by now. So let's take a look at the charts and I'm, I've got Ripple uh, versus Bitcoin open straight away and it's on a weekly chart. Now, the idea here is that we want to figure out whether it's worthwhile holding a separate or a different cryptocurrency or should we be holding Bitcoin? Uh, the point is, why are we exposing ourselves to higher risk like these other uh, crypto assets when we could just hold Bitcoin? So we want to be able to make more Bitcoin from the crypto assets that we're holding. And with Ripple, right now you can pretty much see off the chart, if we'd bought anywhere above the current point where we are now, and that current point is at 3000 sats, then if we bought anywhere above here, we would have just been better off holding Bitcoin. If we bought anywhere under here, then we would be better off holding some Ripple because we would have made or made a gain on that Bitcoin. So right here, we can see in 2016 to early 2017 was a pretty ripe time for Ripple. And from that point, it just shot straight to the moon against Bitcoin. I'm sure if you were around then, you'd know and you remember that crazy time. And I think that's kind of the area and the time where Ripple gained its army. From that point, it just went on a massive bear market and just pretty much retraced the whole entire move all the way up. So really, it's a great tool that we can see from here to, to double, triple, quadruple, to get 10x on your Bitcoin. But you've got to be buying in just at these lows and then selling out. Don't get sucked into the army talk. Don't get sucked into thinking Ripple's going to 100 bucks or $10 or, or whatever it is. It doesn't matter what the dollar value is because Bitcoin's going to go up as well if Ripple goes up. So there was another period here at, in the end of 2017, early 2018, where it just shot off to the moon just for a few weeks and then retraced the entire move. And we only just recently saw it bounce up again. So in terms of a, a risk, a high, you know, is it a low risk or a high risk? Personally, I definitely consider this a much higher risk to be involved with instead of just holding Bitcoin. So for Ripple's sake, if you're not understanding the chart, and you can't just buy in at these lows when the volatility is completely quiet. It's been going down for several years. No one's that interested in it. And you're not interested in buying at those times, then I would definitely stay out of Ripple. Again, not financial advice, just what I'm seeing from the charts as educational purposes only. So we're at a point now where Ripple may be starting to head up again. It might be, you know, it might be coming into one of these moves. I think if that does happen, I don't expect one of these moves to happen. Maybe what we've just seen here is what we saw here. So let me zoom in on that so you can get a closer idea. I remember this one quite clearly because I missed this first part, but I remember buying Ripple here at around 2,700 or 3,000 sats, and then it just booming to the, to the moon, and you ended up with 10 times the Bitcoin you had. But I was a noob, I held it, all the way down. I think I even bought more at these areas and just watched all of my Bitcoin just get eaten away all the way down and probably sold out somewhere around here into something else. I remember Stratus was a big thing at the time too. So really from this, I think this is what is going on now. And if that's the case, then we have one, two, three, maybe four-ish weeks before we see the pump. And let's move across to where we are now. This is for Ripple. We have seen it up, we've seen one, we're into our second week of it just going sideways. So it could be a good way to get more Bitcoin, but it's going to be very, very short-lived. That's my view. I think we would see 
one, two, three, four weeks up. What do we see this time? One, two, three, four weeks up again with a huge spike top. So if that comes, I'll be looking for four weeks, get the hell out of there and make the money, make the Bitcoin and then get out and let Ripple just burn off. I don't think as a, as basically as a business or as a uh, long-term hold, I don't think it's the way to go. That is potentially my bias. Love to hear your thoughts in the comments, but just simply looking at the chart, it's not an asset to hold long-term against Bitcoin because it continues to show that it retraces all the way back to where it started. So the next one I wanted to compare to is Ethereum. So let's get out the Ethereum chart versus Bitcoin. Now on here, I have my support and resistance levels. I've got uh, some alerts set up. That's what you see these orange dotted lines are. So let's try and get rid of as much as we can. So from here, you could almost argue a similar thing has happened with Ethereum. We had lows, huge moon shoots, back almost a full retrace, and then again. And we've seen uh, almost full retracement come back to this level just here at these, at these double bottoms that we just saw. And from here, it's starting to climb a lot slower. We don't get those typical booms and busts at the moment like we have seen in Ripple. It's booming up and then maybe we're gonna see it fall off again. Uh, whereas with Ethereum, it looks like a much more sustained up move. And getting in closer, uh, you can see this nice dog leg pattern happening as we just step our way up, step up, step up, step up, find support on old resistance, another very healthy sign of a long-term market that I would wanna be in. And you know we've just hit some resistance here at the uh, 0.04 of a Bitcoin area. So it looks like we're bouncing. I'm waiting to see this hold and just move its way higher slowly. Again, I don't expect that we're going to see these massive runs like we did early on when Bitcoin was a lot cheaper. So that's something to keep in mind. Maybe we're only gonna see it come up to 0.054 or 0.7, but either way, this is moving up against Bitcoin. So it is more valuable to hold Ethereum against Bitcoin because it is actually gaining against Bitcoin. If we look in the US dollar pair as well, it's, it's moving up. I'm looking somewhere up here for the first major target. We're gonna get something at around 800 US, then probably that 960 where these levels are, and then somewhere up around 1200, we might see a bit of a pause. But again, overall, this is a nice steady move. It's to me is proven itself in the market and Ethereum looks much more stable. Maybe we're even gonna see a, uh, a massive cup and handle, just do that, th that sort of thing. We'll wait and see to see what happens when it gets to this $800 level. So that's Ethereum against Bitcoin, Ripple against Bitcoin. Now let's look at Ripple versus Ethereum on its own. So XRP, ETH, Bittrex or Kraken will have the most data so let's bring out ripple versus ethereum and uh, what we can see again it looks like a similar pattern to the ripple versus bitcoin chart so ripple lows this is against ethereum remember that's what we're measuring here 0. 0.00052 ish that's sort of the level there right now ripple just over the last few weeks has been better to hold ripple than ethereum but most people would not be buying it in down this area. Most people probably bought Ripple at those uh, high levels back in 2018, and then potentially when it pumped again in late 2018, early 2019, when Ethereum really, really took a massive nosedive. And from that point, uh, the last two years, it's just been a massive downtrend. So that's something to keep in mind as well. If you're contemplating just going in on one, which I probably wouldn't, but if that's what you're contemplating and you're really set on, I need to have this one over a different crypto, keep in mind to look at some of these other charts where they're compared against each other to see whether it's a worthwhile investment. Where do I think this is gonna end up? I think we'll probably see something similar to this in terms of a pattern, not necessarily in terms of a price move. So this is at 0.001 at the moment, uh, Ripple versus Ethereum. I don't know if it's gonna to get to 0 0.0035, so basically just a what, tripling, tripling and a half of the current price. And to me, that risk is not worth it. I would probably stay out of Ripple. Well, I definitely am staying out of Ripple. Ripple's not something that, that I'll be buying. There could be some resistance and uh, 
look, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but there are plenty other opportunities out there. With that said, let's just have a quick look at Link because it is one that has done very well against Bitcoin, which is now having a massive pullback. So what I'm talking about here, this is like the difference between getting in on something that uh, just shoots up and shoots down. So you know, Ripple versus Bitcoin, there's not really any point. Unless you're buying the bottom, selling the top, you're better off just staying in Bitcoin. Whereas for Link, so far, it could prove us wrong over the long term. Buying Link at its when it first came out has been very profitable. You had this 3,500 sats and it boosted all the way up to 0 0.001. So it's a massive gain against your Bitcoin. Had you sold all your Bitcoin into Link in 2018, and even you know currently 2019, you'd be much better off just selling all the Bitcoin and buying into Link. Not something that I recommend just buying into one crypto which is still unproven uh, however looking at the chart that's where we're at i think what we're going to see on link is market probably come back and test this level here at point zero 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 three zeros and a five uh, because you can see some resistance and it looks like it's still heading down that way volume is starting to die off a little bit but that's typical of a market that's been in a downtrend for this amount of time the sellers are getting exhausted and probably going to see some sort of bottoming pattern somewhere around this 0 0.005 for link. Now I did say we'll have a quick look at Bitcoin before we go. And Bitcoin is showing its hand at the moment. We have seen a break of the lows here. So this is on a weekly chart again. There was a, a last week's low was 18,100 and we just broke that down to almost dead on 18,000 and it's pushed back above slightly. We've got several more days left in the week. It's broken the close of the previous weeks and that is also another weakening sign. I don't think this thing is going below 10,000. It would be lovely to see it come back and test our moving average. And that's our 20 week moving average, which is now 13,300. So that's, if it gets to that point, that's still a very strong bull market support level. And I think by the time it gets there, if it gets there, of course, we could be getting closer to our other support levels of the old high at 14-ish thousand. Um, maybe even these levels up here at 16,000. So if it just hangs around and doesn't come down very quickly, we might see something like just a bit of a move down and bounce around and wait for the moving average to catch up. That, that would be beautiful because as Bitcoin goes sideways, we know in history we see the other alt markets tend to shoot up. So something like, let's go back to uh, Ethereum. As it goes sideways, we get a nice move up with the other altcoins. So that's a healthy sign for Bitcoin. It's holding its value. It's a healthy sign for alt because uh, the, the stability in Bitcoin is now overflowing into the alt and they're starting to get a move up and the whole market just starts to push up together. So overall, that's that would be the ultimate play in all of the crypto space, we get a nice healthy Bitcoin, we get some alts moving up and everyone's happy. So the play from here is wait and see. I've got alerts set. If you guys don't have alerts set, do that. Go and use the tradingview.com uh, referral that I have in the description, 30 bucks for free on their credit on the website when you sign up for a paid plan. And then you can set as many alerts. Well, you can set up to 400 alerts. Hopefully you're not using that many, that would just be a nightmare. But you can set all your alerts on that if you use a platform. It's like 12 bucks a month if you pay annually, 12 US dollars, uh, super worthwhile. Check it out, link in the description for that. The play from here, like I said, waiting, but I think there are gonna be some great opportunities to buy some slightly discounted crypto. I don't think we're going all the way back to the levels that we saw uh, earlier this year, but I think we're gonna get it cheaper than what we have. And that's that's been the, the message throughout the last several weeks that I've had on the channel uh, doing Bitcoin videos. So stick around for that. If you found some value from the video, leave us a like down below. Helps out a lot, it helps us push our, our content out through the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe, hit the bell notification icon so you can be notified when I have more videos like this come up with other cryptocurrencies that you're interested in. Today we covered Ripple, Ethereum, first thing the two. My pick is obviously Ethereum. Maybe I'm slightly biased. Love to hear from you guys in the comments. Had a quick look at Link and what it means when you find a crypto that is going up pretty strongly against Bitcoin and not just doing booms and busts. And then a quick look at the Bitcoin price. So that's a big one there. Technical analysis wrapped up. 
I'm gonna go and set some more alerts and get ready for some good buying opportunities. If you do wanna buy some crypto, I've got links to Aussie exchanges down below. Uh, there's Independent Reserve and Swiftex as well. More referral links, you get 10 bucks of cryptocurrency if you sign up with those platforms. So check them out, love to hear from you guys and I'll see you at the next video. Remember, until then, have more fun to get more done. Peace out.